I'm talking about the rain you see falling out there live this morning. People all over the valley and the foothills are waking up to that out there after a heavy soaking overnight that continues this morning. Still coming down in most areas. Take a look at Titan radar now this morning. That heavy green stuff going right over Sacramento here coming up from the Bay Area today and the yellow and even the darker red showing you how heavy that rain is falling. And then on the right, this morning rain falling earlier in Sacramento. This down near Sutter Hospital downtown, uh, in Midtown rather, and uh, it's expected to continue throughout the morning. Cody has a look at where we're seeing some of the heaviest rain right now. All right, Marianne. Yeah, it's pretty much widespread on the lighter side. There's every once in a while a little pocket of stuff that's coming down, but you can see this whole system moved in overnight. We've seen well over an inch of rain in Sacramento, about a half an inch plus in Stockton, about a third of an inch of rain in the last 24 hours in Modesto. So uh, it's, it, it came down pretty steady overnight. One of the spots where we're seeing it come down just a little bit harder is around the Forest Hill area. Uh, that's where we're seeing quarter inch per hour uh, rainfall rate. So that's a good gully washer right there. Everybody else seems to be on the lighter side, but notice just off the coast, uh, North Bay is actually starting to get it now. Uh, there's some more intense weather. That's the engine that actually pushed the system through here overnight. That's going to be making its way for the second part of your morning, uh, and we'll see some heavier downpours add to those rain totals that we were just talking about. And, but wait, there's more. There's a Sunday storm, and I think this one's going to have some oomph to it. Gusty winds, possible thunderstorms, and it's going to lower snow levels. So today the snow levels very high, but uh, by Sunday they could get as low as 6,000 feet. We could see six uh, inches of snow at 6,500 feet. Well, have more in the story in just a second. Back to you. All right. Good news for the ski areas too, though. Thank you, Cody. Uh, it's been a pretty wet morning all over the valley. We're up in uh, Roseville, Sean Bennett's been hanging out there this morning off Harding Boulevard. It's really coming down. Hey, Sean. Yeah, conditions still wet, and it's a kid's best friend out here with all these puddles in the parking lot that are starting to formulate out here. And you know that if it's in a parking lot like that, it's all over the area freeways. You take a look at some of the lights in the parking lot here. You can see the rain coming down. You can see it off the headlights of any kind of vehicle. Sun probably about 35 minutes or so from coming up, and that's when it's really going to get tricky out there. The morning commute is about to happen. That means a lot more cars on the area freeways. A lot of accidents already been reported on multiple multiple freeways this morning. CHP's Twitter feed lit up with accidents and trees down in Citrus Heights. So just kind of a mess to start with this morning. So you just need to know that that's about to happen. And then with the more cars out there and people not packing their patients, other accidents can uh, occur as well. So just know it's just going to be wet and it's not going to let up anytime soon. Marianne, back over to you. All right. John Bennett out there. Rain continuing to fall this morning. Thank you, Sean. Republican vice presidential candidate Mike Pence is back on the campaign trail today after his plane slid off the runway at New York's LaGuardia Airport. Here's a look at the plane this morning. It's still sitting there alongside the runway at LaGuardia. Authorities say the plane overshot the runway after a hard landing during a rainstorm last night. The plane was slowed at the end by crushable concrete safety barriers. Governor Pence, his family, and the other 30-plus people on board, including media uh, who are on his uh, campaign, all got off the plane unharmed. Uh, everybody, though, said the landing was pretty bumpy. The plane was slowed by crushable concrete, as we said. Everybody uh, is okay this morning. The governor did cancel an event after that landing. We hit the ground with a big thump, followed by a series of bumps, and then you could smell rubber in the cabin. Pence will be campaigning in Pennsylvania and North Carolina today. First Lady Michelle Obama took the stage with Hillary Clinton for the first time to rally voters in North Carolina. Mrs. Obama telling the crowd Clinton is the most prepared candidate for the presidency ever. The event at Wake Forest University drew some 11,000 people, one of the largest crowds of Clinton's campaign. Meanwhile, Donald Trump denounced both Hillary and Bill Clinton as creatures of a corrupt system. Clinton enters this final stretch of the race with more than double the cash advantage over Trump. New this morning, more than 140 people were arrested after a nearly six-hour operation to evict protesters who were in the path of the Dakota Access oil pipeline. Most of the protesters were arrested for conspiracy to endanger by fire or explosion, engaging in a riot, and maintaining a public nuisance. The protesters were on private property, blocking construction of the pipeline that would extend through four states. The Standing Rock Sioux tribe is suing, saying the pipeline is threatening the environment and religious and cultural lands.
Trading's underway on Wall Street now this morning. Got a live look here for you. The big board in New York up about uh, 20 points or so here in the first couple of minutes at 18,189. All right, 635, still raining out there. Cody's been watching this one and another one on the way behind that. Yes, another one. And the, the one on Sunday's got some, you know, it's got some strength to it. It's been working out. So it's going to be moved on in here late Saturday night into Sunday. Uh, as we drive to and fro, this is what it's going to look like as you're going to work and school and all that stuff this morning. You're going to use your windshield wipers. Uh, taking a look at the radar here, and you can see it's pretty much um, you know widespread light rain. There is a spot up around Auburn uh, where it's come down just a little bit harder, uh, around Forest Hill to be more specific. We'll show you that. 59 right now in Sacramento, 60 in Stockton, 62 in San Francisco, 45 in Truckee. Light winds. The one on Sunday is not going to have light winds, but today we're not expecting to see winds over 10 miles per hour. Taking a look at that radar again, you can see very active. And as you go up uh, just a little bit around uh, Forest Hill, we're seeing some heavier stuff, but we're kind of waiting on this to move on in here. San Rafael to the west, you can see it coming down a little bit harder, and that's uh, about a half an inch per hour rainfall rates in those orange spots that you see right there. So that's going to be moving in here for the, the, the for part of your commute. And you can see there's a whole bunch where that came from. So it is a warm system pushing snow levels very high uh, today. Uh, matter of fact, uh, I think they'll be like at Yeti Heights, but uh, we got another system coming on in here later the, on uh, Saturday night and Sunday that should lower those uh, snow levels. Saturday, it's going to be hit and miss with the showers and lots of clouds. But late Saturday night, that thing that you see coming out of the Gulf of Alaska is going to drop down, pull with it some cold, very unstable air. So I wouldn't be shocked as it pops some thunderstorms and we could see some small hail from it here in the valley. The snow levels, though, are going to lower to about 6,000 feet. I'm talking about Donner Pass, maybe getting 8 to 12 inches plus of snow. Uh, it will be big fat flakes too. 68 in the valley today, 63 and rainy in the foothills and rainy everywhere really. 52 in the Sierra, 68 in the Delta, 65 in the Bay. Here's your extended forecast. Uh, Sunday as a storm comes in here, remember it's going to be gusty as well. Now Monday for Halloween, we are calling for some rain, but it looks like it will be much lighter and we won't see the gusty winds. Uh, trick or treating time, maybe five one hundredths of an inch from like 5 p.m. until 10 p.m. So we stretched that out. That's not a lot, but still could be a little soggy for the trick or treaters. Uh, there you go, Court. Over to you. All right. Thanks.